Hello everybody, it's SOD Medhaven here today, and we're going to be taking a look at the CS52 list, the newest tier 8 Polish medium that they have brought to the game along with the Ultimate Season Pass. You are required to buy the Ultimate Season Pass in order to get this tank. So far, I've put about 20 or so matches inside the tank, and I feel comfortable doing a review on it. So, starting off today, we're going to be having Yuki and Southern, once Southern uh, gets Yuki a friend request, but until then... Let's go ahead and dive right into the module viewer. We'll take a look at the armor over on tanks GG. So that will be in a moment. But starting off for the overview, nothing really here. 50% standard silver earn rate. Along with that, the engine top speed uh, 50, reverse speed at 20. That reverse speed is going to be really helping you out with taking the pop shots and everything else that you need. Along with that, the 105, we are running a crew that has the 10% accuracy, which is the steady aim perk. So the accuracy that you see here is not the actual accuracy. It is actually 0.36 along with that 7.26 rounds per minute. We also have a gun rammer and rapid loading along with born leader on this tank as well. With that traverse speed, 40 degrees, uh, turret 443 view range with maxed out view range, including the coded optics, situational awareness, 1300 hit points, Decent amount of hit points. Along with that, your signal range at 525 meters, it's going to be real difficult to get assist damage from artillery off in the distance. Along with that, this tank is also loading AP, APCR, and the high explosives inside this. I have not been able to get them to work properly. The crew locations, they're not too bad. Driver dead center, he can get knocked out extremely easily. Along with that, the ammo racks inside this, I was looking at this yesterday. Whenever the tank first came out, these are extremely small ammo racks and it makes no sense how they fit 35 rounds inside of it. So go nuts, play aggressive. If they hit your ammo rack, they are just aiming extremely well. So let's go ahead, jump over to Tanks GG and take a better look at the statistics here over on the website. So for 6,700 gold, which I find to be underpriced for this tank for how it performs is really nice you're able to get the reload down to 7.5 seconds with a 320 alpha and it's just so far absolutely amazing and while we're recording live we're actually also streaming over on twitch so if you guys want to check that out catch me on twitch one of these days it'd be nice so 5.88 standard rounds per minute 208 for standard penetration 252 for the premium 53 millimeters for the high explosive, uh, 10.2 second base reload. The aim time at 2.3, this gun handles extremely well. Seven degrees of gun depression, 17 on elevation. Elevation, you're going to find it lacking just a little bit, but the gun depression, you're going to be able to work a ridge line along with the mobility, <laughs> not talking about the 19.69 horsepower to ton right here, that it gets up to top speed without a problem. So the turret armor, you're looking at 190 in the front, 110 in the sides, 90 in the back. Overall, super good performer so far. Terrain resistance, this is something to watch out for. The 1.1, 1.3, so for your hard and medium. The hard and medium terrain resistance, perfectly fine. But the second you hit that soft terrain, you're going to be filling that lack in your power to weight at that 2.6. So you're going to be going from 19.69 to about 7 power to weight. Now, let's go ahead, jump over, take a look at the armor. Looking at a live module. Well, y y you get what I'm saying. Live. So we can actually tell what we're looking at. So with the 208 standard penetration against it, if it's versing itself. The top here, whenever it goes purple, that's an auto ricochet. Along with that, the sides, you have those little side cheeks that poke out just a tad bit. But overall, super good. Now, if you're coming around of a corner... So let's go ahead and load some higher penetrating rounds. Auto ricochets. We're actually going to compare this to, let's say, another tier 8. But let's say German heavy. So let's go up against the low. And we're going to be versing its APCR with the high penetration rounds. So right here, we're looking at 294 penetration. So yeah, that lower plate, it's just going to bounce. If they're loading heat, they're going to have to exceed over 300 millimeters of penetration to go through that. Along with that, the side armor is going really good. Top's going to be really, honestly, overall. The side cheeks are the only thing you got to worry about. If they hit the gun mantle, they're going to have to land on it just right to go through. The hatches, honestly, you're a medium tank. And going haul down inside this, 
you're, you're just going to want to be a little bit careful. So even against the standard rounds of 234 from the low, it still has extremely good armor. But playing this, you're going to be one of, a little bit more aggressive. It's more of a city fighter, haul down capabilities. It's going to really help this tank out. So let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay. And uh, Yuki, would you like to introduce yourself? And we also have Southern Boy inside here, a part of TE. So let's go ahead. Let's get two matches rolled out inside this tank, depending on how those two matches go. And for the first match, we're looking at Pilsen. All right, Yuki, anywhere you want to go? Yuki got shy. I just got the... <laughs> <laughs> and Southern, if Southern had an Xbox or we had Discord up and running, we would also include Southern Boy. Oh, wow. Top tier right off the bat. See, this is perfect. Top tier. Let's go see what we can do inside the CS52. Now, the CS-52, it, it can get to its top speed without a problem. Relocate. Good concealment. The 105 on this is an absolute monster of a gun. And I'm just going to go ahead and start slamming it off to the very far right side here. Break down the wall. Is he on the outskirts? No, he's behind the building. So we'll jump into more of the armor viewer on the console after this match. So if you guys want to, go ahead fast forward if you don't want to see the gameplay. It doesn't affect me. It makes me a little sad that you guys don't want to see it. But that, that's how it is. And right there, right off the bat, we're showing off what the armor can do, and we pulled out and made a mistake with our shot. But he did aim for the track on the very outskirt. Two hundred and fifty-five, a little bit of a low roll compared to the three hundred and twenty alpha. It's not too bad though. And three hundred and twenty-two, and artillery's focusing out on us now. So let's go ahead back up. We have a lot of guys pushing out on the right side. So we got Yuki, Southern, and then the rest of everybody else. So Tiger 131 doesn't have enough of you range to spot us out until we fire. I feel blind, Yuki. So blind. I looked up and I'm just like, why is this blurry? All right, so the 208 standard penetration, it's enough to get the job done, even against some tier 10s. But against those heavily armored opponents, you're going to want to load the premium. Give him a little bit of an angle. Love how these guys are just being so nice to me. Letting me show off the armor. So it's 12 to 7 right now. This feels like an absolute steamroll. AT-15 up off in the distance. And we're going to come up and say hello to the side of the Vorsig. Now we're going to start loading in the high explosives. Ugh, STA-2. So 389 hit points left. We should be able to give him one high explosive and take him down. But until then, let's actually get a tracking shot into that AT-15. And now that the Borsig is pulling up a little bit more, let's go ahead and say hello. 
Hello. <laughs> I've been enjoying this so far. And AT15, track shot plus damage, 346. That's a good roll. Honestly, with the 105 they gave this tank, it's just an absolute monster. Being able to overmatch 40 millimeter plates. Well, not 40 millimeter plates, but being able to overmatch those 30 millimeter plates without a problem. Along with that, the accuracy, 0.36 starting off extremely solid tank. So the VK100, he's all the way on our left. And oh boy, is he healthy. So, let's go ahead and start cruising on down. Oh, actually, let's go say hi from the front. This absolute steamroll of a game. And just the rate of fire with that 7.5 second reload, it is an absolute beast so go through the front if it lets us we're just gonna wait get the full side shot in the turret there pop the additional reload bonus extra view range also if you guys haven't noticed yet uh, the view range indicator if you look down on the map is now back into the game it is a feature I have been missing for a very very long time And wondering where the T23... You know, the T23E2, I shot him down at the very bottom. Yeah, he's uh, he's all the way down at the back. I, I remember shooting him. I don't think we're going to be able to get another shot off. But, fingers crossed. Oh, hello, Yuki. Down 394, IS-2M... So, you know what? Let's actually just pop this corner and just say hello and goodbye. And top of the team. And look at that. Hello, Yuki sitting there in second place with 3,900. You sure you don't want to say anything? <laughs> eight, eight kills between us, you know, 8,000 damage combined. And a profit of 192,000 silver. That's really nice. Possibly, this is going to be a high caliber too. Yeah, high caliber, first class mastery, bruiser, confederate, sniper metal for most of our shots being from long range. And sharpshooter scoreboard. Not really too worried about that. And southern boy, look at that. Jumping up in the fourth place. Starting to move up in the world there, southern. And then for the CS-52, you're going to have to buy the Ultimate Season Pass, but overall, this tank, in my opinion, is worth every single penny. And from the way that we were able to play it today, you know, it's like not everyone's going to have the same matches, but the 75 millimeters of side armor, along with that, the 80 millimeters on the top plate, 85 millimeters on the lower plate, it's not a bad tank. It's going to hold up extremely well, along with the average 190 on the cheeks. Don't even worry about the red doesn't exist it's just on the gun mantle then you're looking at 160 further out and it's gonna drop down to 140 and just slowly decrease but overall I can officially say this tank is an absolute monster right now so if you guys are able to get your hands on this I highly recommend it if you like the video please comment subscribe drop a like and uh, catch me over on Twitch one of these days. So until then, see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, time, whatever it is. And just a heads up for all of you guys who think this is a little bit off. I'm also recording live having people watch me on Twitch. It's uncomfortable. <laughs>